Hey folks, Johnny Valentine here with Gain Solar. We're on another install. This one's in the low area of South Carolina. We're doing a battery job. Getting the uh, disconnects ready. And it has just been raining all day. So this is going to be a new job. Doing some stuff you've never seen before. Some stuff that you have seen before. Power's getting fed from over there in through this LB the power center it's actually going to be out here so we got a sealed battery bank and uh, the magnum it's pretty tight that's where the customer wanted it uh, the magnum is going to be turning on the new GT500 grid tie battery backup micro inverters these are the GT500s and they are Magnum solution to grid tie battery backup. I kind of think it's one of the smartest ways that they're going to be doing it. So we're going to, I'm going to show you a lot more of this, but I'll just show you a GT500 right now. There's the box that comes in. And there's the actual micro inverter. It's the actual unit. So I'll show you more, but one of these takes two solar panels. The magnum can control it, so it can control the output of the microinverter. And use three-stage battery charging. It can do some stuff that I'm going to go over later on, but I'm soaked, and it's the end of the day, so I'm not going to talk about it right now. But I'll tell you why I think that Magnum's ME GT500 microinverter, AC coupled microinverter setup, is probably one of the best grid tie battery backup solutions, if not the best, on the market right now. Solid technology. There's that Magnum. And all wired up. Rolls batteries. Only that I asked. So, it's always going to be going on this roof. There's Engineer 775. Solar's going up on that roof. We were able to get one set of rail mounted today. It got dry for a second. Oh, remind me, I'm going to show you the feet we're using, too. We're using special feet. There's some of the rail, and there's going to be a row of six on the porch and a row of eight up top. So my van's getting wet. Already shot day one, boss. Yeah, we did. Yeah. You get a little late on the camera. Good. We'd rather have the rain than the Carolina heat, I think, on this one. So It was supposed to be 90. Yeah, but it was. we, we worked it was in soaked. the rain all day. We got a lot done. I think everybody would be good for the first day. Do you agree? Could have been worse. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Containers and chickens and firewood, solar panels, corn. This guy's got it all. We are on day two of our grid tie battery backup all magnum install. Hello, sir. You're doing what you do best, right, boss? We like dirt. We're going to bend this over and we'll be fine. We're going to, you want an inch and a quarter in here? I'm going to miss this power. Yeah, just uh, keep in mind that, see between those two, those two black marks on the, Yeah. that's where the, uh, that's the only place you can go down into the crawl space. There's a pillar. This oh. house is on pillars. And so everywhere in between that LB and that first black mark is a, just hug it tight. Had to stop and explain some stuff to the boss. I'm gonna take you up here and show you what we're doing. So this is basically what we're doing, folks, right out of the manual. You can see that, that's an AC coupled, all magnum battery backup, grid tie battery backup system. The best of both worlds, it's like going to the buffet. You can get bacon or you can get catfish. That's our map, you probably can't see that. So I'm going to take you up on the roof to show you this installation map. There's old Honest Abe, way up high on the roof. It's nice and rainy today, or yesterday it was. Finally dried off, and we're just grateful, praising the Lord here, that it's not 90 degrees like it usually is in the uh, low areas of South Carolina. Nice permanent chicken tractor set up. I want to show you, I know folks, 
you're probably going to say it, this is a sketchy roof, but it's very flat, very comfortable with this, and I own this company. I'm not too worried if I get hurt, I'm screwed anyway. This is the DPW power post. I've showed you an easy fit before. I really like this because it gets you about three inches up off the roof before the L foot. Gets you plenty of clearance for your power level electronics in the roof so you don't have to worry about any type of overheating because they're way off the roof. And you can work your hand up under there. You could get up under there and take it off if you had to. And these things go down really easy. We're using these posts because on a metal roof, a lot of times you have a real hard time finding where the rafters are. You know, the rafters are every 24 or every 16 inches. And if you can't get a lag bolt in a rafter on a metal roof sometime because one of these ridges will be where the rafter is and you can't smush the ridge down. This power post it goes down with GRK screws, which is like a rigid structural, or is it a rugged structural screw or a rigid structural screw? We don't know. I'll show you what a GRK looks like. That's a GRK screw. Stainless. It's got the Torx head on it. They're awesome. And then this screw actually gets a EPDM bonded washer. So you put six of those down on each foot. And we're like we, you know, we're still looking for the rafters and trying to make sure that we get one of them in the rafters, but that's a good connection. This stuff is I asked a roofer one time how long that stuff lasts, and he said he pulled off 30-year-old roofs and the stuff looked like it was looked like it did the day it was on there. So here's these micro inverters. Each one of them does two solar panels. It's basically a YC500 from uh, APS, but they're making it for Sensata or Magnum. There's the connectors. It's got about a 72 inch long whip on it. It's got a plug over on this end. You just plug two panels into each one and it communicates over the power lines. It gives you monitoring, grid tie, Ability. And then if the power's out, the magnum can frequency shift to control the power output of these inverters and get three-stage battery charging, which other than the SMA AC coupling, there's no other uh, system that can do this with grid tie battery backup. Ra Outback Radian can't do it. Santra I guess XW MPPT 8600, that charge controller comes pretty close to it but it still doesn't do it. Uh, so anyway, this is a really cool system. <clears throat> I'll show you more. Gets it a good five, six inches off the roof, which is really good for the panels. And it's really good for the microinverters because since we're on a metal roof, there he is drinking water and playing with the chickens. <laughs> Just kidding. Sweating like a pig. Sweating. But when you're doing these, um, when you're doing these microinverters and you're doing any roof job, you have heat to contend with, and the heat is what lowers the output of the panels. Panels don't make as much power in the heat. Microinverters don't make as much power in the heat. So it's really nice to have plenty of ventilation underneath. You see us do a lot of ground mounts, and we prefer to do a ground mount. But if we do a roof mount, we're going to still do the best job we can and install it in such a way where it's going to last just as long and work just as good as a roof mount. So this is a metal roof, 4kW of solar and 3500 watts of microinverter. And uh, these, these microinverters will grid tie. They'll grid tie and sell power right back to the grid, but if the grid's down, then the magnum uh, is gonna trick these into coming on and AC couple with these microinverters. And it's going to shift the frequency of these microinverters it's going to shift the frequency of the AC, 240 volt AC going to it to ramp up and ramp down the 
output of these things and do three-stage battery charging and all kinds of awesome stuff. So these are great. These take two panels each, so you need one of these per two panels. They've got MC4 connectors. They plug right up. Got an end cap for one end. And uh, we're just wiring it all together. So I'll show you more when we get the panels up. Thanks for watching. It's day three of this grid tie battery backup, all Magnum Micro GT install. And we've got the solar hooked up. And we got Larry just chomping away at the secure loads panel. We're making her look good. Got all his wires super straight. Got the Micro GT mag web installed. Making 3100 watts right now and it's cloudy out there. It's crazy. So we're just moving circuits from the main panel to the critical loads panel. We finished the solar array yesterday. Been really lucky that uh, it was not sunny this past three days we were here. It's been awesome. It hadn't been super hot. Well, it's been like 80s, but cloudy. It's rainy when we got here. There's the solar array. Got it way up off the roof, about five, five inches off the roof. So I think it looks pretty good. Staying cool. I'm happy with it. Micro GTs all turned on nicely. Starting to pack it up. Hopefully we're gonna get to go home tonight. Still got my gutter open, but see how I've got my Solar disconnect, my battery backup system disconnect. Got a little generator transfer switch. So right now the grid power is coming through here, coming back here, feeding over to the Magnum, feeding out of the Magnum, feeding through here, and then this is where the battery backup power goes to the critical loads panel, which is on the other side of the house. So I got to, if you know, if the power's out and the firefighters firefighters want to turn off this, the whole house they just hit this one this one they're done actually they hit that and there's no power on the house but uh, if he wants to have give a generator to his magnum he can turn this on and flip it to gen and plug in a portable generator and he can charge his batteries with a generator Ooh, man folks there's gnats here a lot of gnats so Doing a little film in here. I got some, some got some big guys in here. You gonna be able to get that uh, fuse out of there still? Yep. Make you sure? Yep. It's hot, boss. But you'll be able to get it out, right? I think so. Why is it blinking? Oh, because the magnum's off. Because what? It's blinking because the magnum's off, I guess. Hey, doing all right? Beauteous. That's a, that's a, that's day three right there. Not even. Not even. Like, you know, we had a lot of driving time to get here. We're doing good. It's hot, boss. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you doing the commissioning video? Okay. Well, this is the end of the grid tie battery backup Magnum install. The micro GTs are up. They're running. At the end of the day, he's only making about 500 watts, and uh, we're all labeled up. I'm fixing to get on the road and head on home. It's a nice uh, setup there. I showed you this. I'm sure everybody sees this one more time. This is that generator transfer switch. Nice little piece of equipment. Scott's going to be coming back and showing this customer uh, doing a well pump for this guy. And uh, I'll take you back in here one more time. Is he sleeping in there? No. And here is the inverter and the batteries one more time. Rolls batteries and the inverter. 
it's just in bypass right now and uh, she's all done so thanks for watching if you like these kind of videos like our channel try to show you more and more what we do how we do solar hope you learned something one last shot of the finished critical loads panel all the breakers put the blanks in for the breaker breakers that you move and uh, there's that labeled up critical loads panel and she's done there's that ECU with the magnum she's screaming with 71 watts it's it's like seven o'clock at night so we're all done thanks for watching